that sounds crazy to me. Bonjour! Today is Tuesday, my goodness. Time is flying. I have a party later. I don't want to leave my house. I'm gonna think about it. I want to open my window so I can get some fresh air in. But then again, they're doing construction outside. So it's just all the noise. Don't like to hear that. A little thing that I do whenever I am staying in the house. Well, I am not wearing makeup yet. But I still want a little bit of color on my lip. My lip can kind of blend in with my face. And I just feel like they get lost. If I want a little bit of color, my favorite thing to use is the Clarence Lip Oil. I am so obsessed with these. This is in the shade Cherry. I found the cherry give me the best color. This is what I would apply. That's it right over here. And you could tell the difference. It just, all of a sudden, it just give you that youthfulness, that, you know, sweet little color on your lip. And I am actually wearing my new earrings from Lagos. You guys saw from the event. So we we're both gifted. Um, so I picked these earrings because I wanted something was silver, although I think this is white gold or platinum. Silver is really big at the moment because the 90s are back. And I just realized sometimes I've been adding a lot of silver pieces in my wardrobe. When I wear my silver stuff, I have no silver jewelry. So I need to like change that. I'm gonna brush my eyebrows. I'm gonna do the Benefit Brow Glue. Today's plan is more work. I'm about to go on my hot girl walk. I just realized, you know what? I'm gonna do it early in the morning. I've already had my ginger shot. Ginger shot is the first thing that I do every morning. I'm super consistent when I think about it. In most areas of my life, in, com in terms of my health, I'm super consistent. In terms of my skincare, I am super consistent. I work right now, I'm super consistent. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna go on a walk and I'm also gonna pick up some aloe for my boobs because I haven't had aloe in a while, well, in a week. So I do have something at the tailor. I have to pick up my pants, plus I have to drop off these new pair of pants. having lunch it is a little bit later 128 because i've been having lunch super early because the food is here and available but today is a late one because i've just been catching up on some emails and trying to do some last minute things that i need to do before my trip we've got our hotel book for half of our stay there so i have to figure out the other half because we're thinking about going to the countryside and i'm gonna walk over to to like a nail shop where i got me it's brand new it's open it's super cute i'm gonna see if i can do the comb nails Mmm, so good. I'm gonna finish lunch. Let me take you with me to get my nails done. I'm thinking about going to Apple because I need to get a new phone. Got no space on my phone. And then
the nail salon. It is so cute in here. This is the inspiration we're gonna go for. This is Hailey Bieber's nails. Like this. That's what I kinda want. So, what I ordered versus, I guess we're gonna see what I got. As you can see over here, I mean, we got a little chromatic. I'm kind of happy with this. Um, although it's not as smooth, it looks a little bit bumpy. Oh, my hands too different color, right? Or is it a lighting issue? These are the nails. Focus. These are the nails. As you can see, this cost me forty-five dollars. I can't be mad at that. I remember when I lived in Jersey when I used to get fillings. It used to be a hundred dollars to get the fillings. Oh, the girl is really paying a hundred dollars every time they get their nails done? That sounds crazy to me. Forty-five dollars, that's pretty good. That's not what I used to pay on the upper east side just to get a regular gel. I guess for forty-five dollars you get a forty-five dollar job. My friends' nails though, the ones that pay a hundred bucks, their nails are always a fire. It always looks so amazing. I guess you get what you pay for. It's true what they say. Sometimes it's just good to invest in something and just be happy with the results than paying the cheap price and then just be uncomfortable. This will do for now. Me, on the other hand, I just don't enjoy sitting down and getting my nails done. I just think it's such a waste of my time. I'm always thinking I could be doing something better, even if that something is doing nothing. I don't like it, which is why I absolutely love the press-ons because the press-on takes me five minutes to put on. I only problem with the press-on sometimes. I will be out at an event, boom, something breaks, and I'm just like, oh, come on, why? And I got my order from in other stories. Like both my package and Maria's package were stolen. That is something that I have issues with in my building. They stole my work, actually. First time that I bought this, back in July. Super irritating. You're expecting something, and then you can't find it. I saw this cute little top from in other stories, and it's on sale for $30. And I thought for my trip, or even to go to one of the events, this is something that I could wear during the daytime i just love that the sequin during the daytime it's such a thing right now so here for it oh and then i can wear my green bag also have the matching skirt which i'm about to order i don't think i would wear them together i really love the silver on the neckline i've just been loving silver i need to add more silver jewelry to my wardrobe let's pop this on are you guys ready oh la la top I think it's a little bit faulty. One side seems to have a little bit more fabric than the other. I would pair it with the Cleo Pepiat bag. Put on top a Frankie Shop blazer or even a black blazer. I love it and it does have a zipper on the side. It was a little bit tight to put it on. I didn't realize there was a zipper. So cute. And I love the whole wearing sequins then during the daytime. Just sometimes I hate wearing sequins at nighttime because I just feel like it's a little bit too much. I think during the daytime it just gives it a more casual vibe. Look at this guys. This is such a cute look right here. This is one of my favorite blazer of all time. I discovered this brand on Farfetch. It's called Liver. L-V-I-R Here we are, I was doing a little TikTok These days I've just been inspired to just do those random TikToks As soon as I get an item I decided that I'm gonna stay home instead I have a lot of work to do I have to plan the itinerary And actually send the link to my friend Just in case if she wants to add some stuff I actually have to text my friend Rosie To see the plan I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with my nails Feels like little chicken claws <laughs> On that note, I'm hungry And I'm deciding what
slam the door on my left boob. MG, that was very painful. I screamed so hard. So I got the crunchy spicy tuna. Oh shoot. I had to try the crunchy and set up just like the regular tuna because I always get the regular. This is going to be my early dinner, late lunch kind of deal. I've been eating rice since my mom brought me food last week. I've been eating rice every day. Actually for someone who doesn't even like rice like that, it's a little bit much because I don't want the food to go to waste obviously. I don't necessarily always feel the best after I eat like a big pot of rice. I'm like, I can even feel a little bit heavy. I had some chicken goiza. These are because I'm probably not gonna open it. I also got some mochi ice cream. I got the vanilla because, van classy vanilla, oh. LOL. I love mochi, that mochi doki place in Soho. My goodness, it was the best mochi that I've had in my entire life. Also, I got some goiza sauce and I also got some soy sauce. And even myself, sometimes whenever I cook Haitian food, I always like to add a little bit of Asian, Asian touch to it. Also got some chow mein, some lo mein egg noodles. Oh, I also got some fruits mix. I'm gonna about to eat some candy because whenever I eat Asian candy, I just don't feel guilty because I'm just like, it's healthy. And I've got some choco and coffee biscuits. I'm about to eat some of that. Best candy I've ever eaten. Wow. Here working I didn't talk to you let's do a little recap of this morning this morning I had to shoot a campaign oh I think I'm loving my blush I think I overdid it I think I'm gonna start bringing my blush down a little bit like when it's right underneath my eyes it makes it look weird I'm gonna bring it down although you should be bringing your cheeks upward but I think it depends on the on the shape of your face I, I think for my face shape it's better that if I create a bigger face because my face is so tiny <laughs> I mean, in camera it probably looks big but when i tell you if you see me in person you'll be like i have a tiny i have a tiny head face everything about me that's what the girl was making she wasn't making fun when i was getting my ear pierced when i was laughing that's because she was like oh my god your ears are so tiny <laughs> everything about me is tiny except for no longer my boobs but my boobs are tiny now they are teeny tiny <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. If you saw on the train, that one of the reasons why I typically don't like to sit on the train, even back then, I used to always stand, is because I don't ever want to sit next to someone or someone sit next to me. And then I can't breathe because of their perfume. I get up and for them to feel a certain way. So I used to always stand on the train because I have like a scent sensitivity. I'm very sensitive to like perfume. Scent doesn't go with my body chemistry, automatically it gives me a headache. So I sat down, right? And then the guys, you know, like the older gentleman men sometimes they wear this heavy perfume it's like the bay in it and as soon as he sat down next to me i'm just like yeah i'm gonna have to get up i could my eyes started going crazy headache was coming i was just like i had to get up it's been crazy guys i think the president is in town and it's a mess i went into sephora to get the soft matte concealer this is my favorite concealer ever you shit caramel i'm going to eat my sushi favorite roll is just spicy tuna it's because you can never go wrong with spicy tuna i'm not showing you guys what i'm eating but bonjour happy thursday i am headed to breakfast with a brand I've been working with them on a campaign and it's so nice and I'm so excited it's going to be at Sadell's I've always wanted to go to Sadell's I thought I will show you what's in my bag this Copernic bag yesterday I was wearing my Brahmin bag this was I think a limited edition for the 40th anniversary the Melbourne in this beautiful 
not ruby color but it's like a reddish it's just so stunning i love how it changes color it depends on the lighting on my bag of course i've always have my wallet well this is technically a card case but this is my wallet i hate wallets I remember back in the day when i used to have this big wallet it was the bane of my existence i'm just like whose idea is it to just make this big ugly thing so inconvenient like i just hate things that are not convenient i got this I think I have a video where I purchased this in Chanel in 2018 when I was in Paris and it was so cheap too it was like $200 or something like that but now they're like much more expensive I think I do want another one I love the caviar because it's durable although the gold is kind of like changing color a little bit but I've had it for like four years now it's fine but I just feel like it's not like the quality of the old Chanel's but at the same time the quality of this is insane because it's caviar Although I prefer the smooth leather, but because I'm not someone who likes to baby their stuff, the caviar I thought was a better option. This is something that I take with me everywhere. Unless I'm going on a date, well, that's probably not a good thing to do. But I always bring one though, just in case. It's not because I don't want to, first of all, I'm not going to pay anyways. But the reason why sometimes when I'm going on a date, it's a really small bag and it doesn't have that much space. I would rather carry some other things like my charger. So what I will do is I'll just bring my license and one credit card. So that way, you know, I am good in that fund. That means I don't need, you know, everything else that's there, you know, all my other credit cards. But I'll always bring cash with me because if I'm checking my code, then I need to tip people. Battery charger. I just don't understand how people still working around without a portable charger. What year do we live in? Like, you must have a portable charger. This is Stallion. I've had this. I've been using this for the past four years. I love it. More than that, actually. I love this one but i recently bought another one which you saw in my amazon video that one is for traveling so that one i'll be taking with me in my trip but on an everyday basis when i'm in the city i always bring this with me of course i need the cord so i bring the cord my lipstick is chai which is the one i'm about to put on actually i have to leave soon because it's gonna take me 43 minutes to get to the place because it's in soho okay 38 minutes with traffic it's like a 12 minute slow down on the FDR oh and the traffic in New York has been insane because Prezi is in town the traffic is maddening and also New York City is back it's just like it was before it's the traffic is crazy I have my airpods let me see if they charge 70% we're good I never use my I barely use my airpods unless if I'm out but I spend most of my time in my house anyways and also I don't love having things in my ears they're not that healthy for you if you take a what do you call it radiation the thing that tells you how much radiation is are in your devices it's pretty high in the airpods I still love my airpods though like I love to have it on like if I'm editing a video and I don't want to disturb other people sitting around me or standing around me I like to wear them if I'm in public and I need to listen to something quickly especially if I need to take a FaceTime call then fine other than that I don't use them regularly the perfume automizer from Amazon like I showed you I'm obsessed with these this is Baccarat Rouge that's in there always bring my Bottega sunglasses these are one of my favorite pair of sunnies ever um, I got this two years ago I love them so much I think these are called like on the cat eye or something but I am obsessed with these of course I always have my Chanel mirror to apply my lipstick aqua more lip repair for some reason they said this one is the best one and I agree I need to order some more Navar when I went to Celine to buy some stuff Navar gave me the black tie I really really love that but I love the other one Dom Paris I think I'm gonna end up getting Dom Paris first and then i'll get black tie second but this smells incredible and we always need gum since i don't necessarily like to chew gum what i'll do is if i feel like i need to freshen up i'll just use those little strips what i do is before i go in to meet anyone i'll just put a drop of peppermint oil underneath my tongue so i always carry peppermint oil with me wherever i go if i don't want to chew gum i don't like chewing gum it bothers me and I also want to stop at the Frankie shop to see if I need some things. Oh, this is so good. I love an espresso. I also need to go to Nespresso and buy some more since I'm going to be right there. Oh, this feels so good. I'm telling you, my morning coffee, it's probably my favorite part of my day. I love it so much. Hey guys, walking into Sadao's in Soho. Let's go. Hello, guys. I just got done with Recky, so fun meeting the team. I'm now on Prince. I always feel like West Broadway is so neglected. It's such a good street because they have a lot of like cool restaurants and stuff. 
I do feel like my makeup has not been looking good or the same texture. I need to get drama planning done. So myself, is that a sign that I should go in right now and get the iPhone 14? <laughs> three hours I was posting a sponsored post today with Haven well within which is what I am wearing today Haven well um, just like its name just like your Haven it's a website that has everything that has to do with your well-being and wellness as much as I love fashion wellness that I am so passionate about I've always been passionate about wellness about living well I think living your best life or living a luxurious life is making your well-being a priority fall is here it is a dog day it's been raining all day I do love a rainy day so this is nothing I just love it I just yeah I enjoy it very much Today is the first day of fall so happy first day of fall I hope you guys are ready for the cozy season fall is my favorite season ever there's something about fall and I'll get that time to really get focused and align with your goals and, and at the same time it is a time to get cozy it is a time to turn your house into like a haven I partnered with Haven well within on my Instagram I quickly wanted to also show you I got this beautiful set from them this year it's all about being comfortable in my home I was never kind of like a homebody well not never I haven't been a homebody in the last almost decade since I've moved to New York because New York is that kind of place you've always out and about. The penny need changed something in me. And also, I am just at a period in my life where I love my apartment so much. I love my place. It's so cozy. It's so comfortable. I work from home. I absolutely adore my apartment. My number one priority when I wake up and get ready for work is being comfortable. This year, I want to invest in good quality sleepwear and homeware. Cozy clothes that I can wear in the house and just also be warm and look chic. Kevin Wall, they sent me a lovely box. I did a collaboration with them and they were still kind enough to send me a lovely gift, which was very nice. Earrings are also from them. You guys know, as much as I love fashion, wellness is just as important to me, if not the most important, because your well-being should be at the forefront of everything you do, because if you're not well, you can't really do anything. One of my favorite things about Haven Well Within is having a place that curate like Haven Haven for you amazing because you know you can go there and just find all your favorite products to create that amazing routine also I think it's part of living a luxurious life so making your routines a little bit luxurious there is something to be said having a routine I need a routine I am a routine girl I mean I used to never have a routine before and then I wonder why I could never get anything done if you don't know what you're doing then how are you supposed to do anything? It's good to like sit down, figure out what your routine is, what time you want to wake up every day. And of course, it's never gonna be perfect. Of course, there's one day that you're gonna wake up, you're not feeling well, you're gonna like decide to get that extra 10 minutes of sleep and that's completely and fall is here. Fall is one of the busiest season. It's like back to school. C'est la rentrée. Um, it's like a French term for like back to school. It's that time where you're coming back from vacation, going back to the office. And I just feel like one other thing that can help you deal with all the stress of the new season, the busy season, is having a routine, is create a haven in your space. After dealing with two hour traffic to get into work and back home, so if you have to go into the office, also dealing with delays on the train, and what you want to do is you want to come to your home and it's filled just working into your haven your place is clean have the things around you that's going to make it so easy for you have like a tea kettle ready for you you see this is some tea you can find on haven well i think i've showed you guys this tea before this is one of my favorite tea that i discovered from them it is so freaking good this is the key this is the flow testing collection last time i got this it was just a rose the Shangri-La Rose. This is by far the best tea. It's a whole flower. You just put the whole flower in the water and you can use this twice. So whenever I use this, I make sure to go over it twice. I'm going to be drinking a lot of tea in the winter time. The next one we have, it's the Warrior Chrysanthemum. That looks so cute. It looks like a yellow butterfly. The next one is the Lotus Flower. The Blue Lotus, as you can see over here. The packaging is just so cute. 
they also have this clamp to like take the tea out which is so cute i'm definitely gonna be using that for other things too it says drink flowers be well next thing you can find on haven well within is one of my favorite brand which is espa espa is really niche skincare if you know you know and i love niche skincare finding those like cool niche brands but i love espa products they have this optimal ball that i use my face and i also use it on my neck when i'm using my gua sha i did do my gua sha this morning because you don't see me do something on here i do my gua sha religiously every morning that's one thing that I, I want to start doing for you guys i want to be better at showing you my realistic routine which probably is unrealistic for a lot of people i do a lot someone was telling me that on my stories it was like oh i need to take some time for myself in the morning i'm always washing something that i started doing five years ago even before i started working from home for myself when i had my office job i realized that i used to wake up every day washing for the train washing to get into work i just hated the feeling of always washing but one day i made the decision that i was gonna start waking up at four o'clock every morning i cultivate the habit every day I woke up at four. If I am spending 11 hours really, or even 12 hours at somebody else's dream company, the least that I can do for myself is to give myself some time in the morning, not rush. What I started doing was I had to be at work at eight o'clock. I would wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Wake up, I would make my coffee. I would take, I'll take like 30 minutes to just like relax, you know, enjoy myself, you know, making my coffee. I will do my 10 minutes meditation, I'll do my five minute journal. After my coffee, I will just get in the shower. I will take my time. And then I will sit down for an hour, even though I don't necessarily need an hour to do my my makeup sit there enjoying myself looking at myself in the mirror saying my affirmations or listening to like a devotional or some affirmations or whatever it was people always say oh i don't have time i got this i got that it's just like no you can always make the time that you need for yourself it's about making it a priority for you and then and then i will get on the train at like 6 30 to get to work i will get to work i will be 20 minutes early i will have a second cup of coffee at work i'll just like enjoy that 20 minutes that i have to myself be on my phone do whatever i wanted before i even start work this oh. is one of my top three cleansing bombs this is a yuzu and ginger cleansing sorbet if you're looking for one of the best products to remove your makeup this is the one especially if you don't like something greasy you want something that is fresh and not feel like it has a lot of chemicals and things like that this is the one that i recommend i love espa so much hair claw i love her claws now love this one it's called a brand it's from a brand called machete or machete i'm thinking it's french machete I could be wrong. But what I'm most excited about, buying silky luxury thing to sleep in. I want to kick the habit of sleeping naked. I just don't like it anymore. They sent me this beautiful washable silk. I typically wash my silk anyways. I don't like silk that I can't wash. Or even if it says that you have to dry clean it, I wash it anyways. I wash it myself. It's very weird that I take my silk stuff to the cleaner. I just find like just washing it. I love the sleeves on this because the sleeves stay tight. Because the things that I hate about robes, is that the thing is so wide and then it makes it so uncomfortable for me when i'm doing my makeup I always get caught like in the door handles next thing you know i'm hurting myself that is like a brilliant design the sleeves have this swooshing elastic details it is nighttime now and i guess i did a horrible job with my makeup today i just did not like it melissa wardrobe is like the queen of cleaning whatever cleaning product she recommends i'm getting it so this is the dawn platinum power wash i don't even know what this is <laughs> I don't even know what this is for, but if Melissa tells you buy some cleaning thing, you buy it. This is in place of your normal dish soap. Fully squeeze, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's amazing. But before I run the dishwasher, I am going to be spraying it with this. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. just two days away from being in a party leaving 
Sunday night, Sunday evening on 6 p.m. And then I get to Paris on Monday. 26 I always do like a red eye whenever I'm going to Europe in general because I just find it so much easier I sleep on the plane. I get there It is morning and I'm ready to go in. I love that. I'm getting there at 6 a.m. Also, I haven't even <laughs> Booked a hotel. Well, my friend booked the hotel, but um, she may have to like Delay it and come a little bit after so if that happens I want to book my own place one of the things that I want to get into are like hotels Typically, I don't necessarily care for hotels like that when I travel as long as something is decent enough like Just to sleep. I'm just good because my thing is I'm not even gonna spend time in this place Like what is the point? That's my thinking and especially for me I like to be out and exploring and doing everything and just come to the room and just crash But at the same time, it is good to have a beautiful room to take content Unless you're taking a vacation to go to sleep, then that wouldn't even make sense You can actually just stay home and sleep But I get it though. Being in a really nice hotel, it's really really nice But for me, as long as something is decent enough I am good I don't necessarily care for like amenities and all that stuff Like because as soon as I wake up I'm getting ready and I'm getting out <laughs> But today I am wearing my Le Rave tank top The free assembly from Walmart jeans On my lip today, it's Citizen Cosmetics I've been obsessed with Citizen Cosmetic lipsticks I want every color, all the cities My favorite is Kuala Lumpur because it's like the perfect nudish But since autumn is officially here I thought why not just do a little bit of like an autumnal moment with this one This is talk home but just to be sure it's Stockholm but then again I'm like is this a color Stockholm girls would actually really kind of like wear I wonder and I'm wearing the lipstick side which is a matte side I haven't worn the gloss yet should we do the gloss or should we do the I think when you do like a dark lip it's better when it's like matte it looks intimidating I think I like it I think I like it better glossy it just add a little bit more fun to it than than the matte I haven't been happy with my skin and my makeup because I feel like I've been sitting on top of my skin I just feel like my skin has been re incredibly dry over the last couple of days I booked the facial at the Dior spa in France I am so excited for that so I'm gonna take you guys along for that i think this is going to be in this video but today i actually want to go to the glow bar and get the derma planning because i could see the hair on my face i'm gonna call to see if i can find an appointment the thing about the glow bar they always so booked it's so hard to find an appointment and i hate putting appointment i am gonna start packing tomorrow actually i'm gonna start packing today i've already put some stuff out i'm gonna try on all my outfits i'm not gonna do anything like crazy until of luxury shopping I'm not doing any of that. The only thing if I found maybe the Hermes Chipper Sandals, but I don't even to see, I don't even want to go to Hermes honestly because everyone from Paris Fashion Week is gonna be there. And then it's just gonna be a mess trying to go to the store because like I said, everyone's gonna be there shopping, getting things. I'm not even worried about that because I'm going back to Paris very soon again. For now, it's just going to be like a chill time. Just do the presentation shows and just like show you like you know some designers. I love the show and visits in Paris. Because the building is just like so beautiful anyway. Collections are always so beautiful as well. So it's perfect. This is not New York. Because New York is like super grungy. But when you go to like a showroom in Paris. And then you're looking at like the interior of the building. It, I just get so much inspiration.
bralette from Kate that just arrived. This is that set from Kate. Again, won't be wearing them together out like this, but you know what? Maybe, maybe I will. Good afternoon, guys. It is Saturday and I'm here in the same look. It feels like I'm just wearing the same look over and over again. Guess what? I am. Every time I step out, you're gonna see me in this look until it's time to no longer have my bare arms. Because right now, I feel like if you still want to bare your arms, it is the same way. I mean, it is the easiest way to do it is to have like the sweater just over your neck like so morning errands i just got a new foundation from nars it's the shield glow foundation this morning at 9 a.m i woke up super early thinking that i had my hair appointment at at 9 a.m turns out it was 9 p.m so i texted my hairstylist i'm like i'm on my way and it's just like on your way where and then she said um it's 9 p.m and i'm just like oh lol i thought it was 9 a.m I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just go to Paris with my hair just like this. I don't wanna have it installed. Reason why? I feel like the only reason for me to get my hair installed is to do a ponytail. Because if I'm not doing a ponytail, I don't see any point in having it installed. And this was the outfit that I was gonna do, but I think in I think I'm gonna end up leaving this at home. Actually, already scheduled my Uber. Let me see how's the traffic. The traffic is pretty good. It's only 26 minutes to get to JFK. Plus, I have what do you call it? TSA pre-check. Mm -hmm. 